Hello everyone, how's it going? So today we are going to revisit our 6-axis controller to um, try to sort out the joystick that was sticking and uh, for that we are going to disassemble it to reach the interior as you see this one here is the one that was sticking I will leave a link for the video that I did before on this six axis. So we remove the flex for the buttons and the joystick itself. So this the springs seem to be a bit weak now and they are not doing a proper job on keeping the joystick in place so uh, this is a uh, four pin potentiometer and it's magnetic it's different from the others which are made of paper while we are in here let's replace the battery because the old one was swollen and did not hold the charge anymore let's just try it out to see if it fits in the same place which it does I'll then use the little brackets to keep it in place which is great As you can see, the uh, springs, they are not strong enough to pull it back in place with the same speed as it was new. So uh, we'll have to sort this thing out and see what we can do. So we start by trying to clean it with a bit of isopropyl alcohol, just in case there's some dirt inside. I was just testing it with the, the one on the right to see if it matched the same strength, and it clearly does not. So as you see here, when we pull it, it stays stuck and the other one does not. So this will have really to be replaced by another one, as you can see it gets a bit stuck and I'm not really sure where the springs or the elastics are that do the um, pullback on this, so um, eventually I will need to take it out and put a new one. As you can see, the potentiometer has four pins, the new ones have only three. So we start by using some flux to help the solder flow while we heat it up and then remove the joystick. Mm -hmm. 
So we start by applying heat. So I set the gun at around 400 degrees Celsius. And while doing this, we just apply a bit of pressure on the solder points with the uh, tweezers so that it helps the button to come off. As you can see, the plastic underneath is melting through the little holes on the board. Well, it's ruined anyway. So I had to heat it up over 500 degrees and the plastic melted as you can see. We now apply a bit of uh, IPA to remove the flux and then we will scrape off the plastic that remains. So this does not look good. We'll have to remove all this melted plastic to then apply a new joystick in place. So let's get to it. So uh, we start by using our iron to remove the plastic that is melted. So we melt it again and scrape it off. It's the easier way and the most uh, unharmful for the board. And uh, we apply the maximum heat and remove the plastic. Remember to check the video on the link so you can see how to clean an iron tip. And that's that, so you just keep on doing what we are doing with the iron and remove the most amount possible of plastic. So after removing the hardest of the uh, plastic, I use the spudger and I fix it spudger to scrape off the remaining plastic on it so that I don't scratch the board and it did a really nice job on that. So we now clean a bit with IPA, remove the remaining plastic with the soldering iron and now I will have to order a new joystick because I don't have any here with four pins. So I'll get back to you once I have them. So it took me three months to get this joystick, so I found it on a Chinese shop in China. I ordered them and um, they arrived, so we are going to go and put it back and put our controller to work. So we start by filling in the little soldering points with leaded solder to remove the unleaded solder 
because the melting point on it it's pretty high and if we mix it with this one it lowers and it's easier to remove with then a solder wick so we do that in every mounting point and then we come by with the solder wick that absorbs this new solder and the old solder together So we now pass the solder wick, which is actually copper wires and with the heat from the soldering iron we remove the solder into this wick. So uh, we'll then apply the new joystick, which is actually not new, it's a second handed, so let's see if it works. So with that done we put our joystick in place and it fits pretty tight so we need to do a bit of pressure with our fingers in order for it to go in place. So with that done, we then apply flux in all the soldering points so that it helps our new solder to flow into the hole and grab the pins. So I should have used a larger tip so that it helps the heat flow better into the uh, mounting pin and the solder. But well, we did the job anyway. So basically the uh, soldering iron needs to be together with the pin and then we put the solder on the pin so that it melts over the pin and the soldering point.
and we do this in all the soldering points I now used a larger tip because it makes my life a bit easier so that we can then attach every single pin to the soldering point So after the job is done, we just need to clean it with a bit of IPA and a toothbrush so that the um, flux gets removed. As you can see, the board is now a little bit darker because of the heat that it got, but well, that's life. So we now test the controller, unfortunately I thought I was filming while I was assembling it, but I was not, I apologize, but uh, basically this is the opposite of uh, disassembling. So I use this web page to test the uh, controllers, so you can just uh, plug it in and it will show on the screen. And then we just press the buttons to test them out, as you can see. The joystick that we changed is uh, a little bit off side, off the center, but it's not serious. So um, yeah, everything seems to be working. Joysticks can turn and go back to the center. 
everything is fine. Please subscribe, leave a like, and enjoy the video. Thank you. See you again.